You know, I had a question pop up on my YouTube channel a little while back ago. It was about whether or not we as farmers should consider no longer burning fossil fuels. And the question uh, kind of put a lot of interest in my mind. I mean, I've really been thinking about that quite a bit because I really don't have a great answer for that. But what I do know is that me as a farmer, as a young regenerative farmer, I wouldn't have been able to get into this business without being able to buy older equipment, older tractors and things like that. And so the ability to burn fossil fuels right now for me is um, pivotal. I mean, it's a really, a really big thing. And there's a lot of people that don't really care about regenerative agriculture. So to get rid of that right off the bat, I don't think that's a great solution. Um, I've been actually thinking a lot about the problem overall and one of the things that me and my wife have thought about quite a bit in our marriage is when it comes when anytime we focus on the problem like if we have a little problem a little spat or something like that between each other a little disagreement or sometimes it's just an, an issue even in in our business that we're trying to come up with and figure out how to solve you know we have found that many times rather than focusing on the problem it's a lot better to focus on the solution. That's something that works for us quite well because when you focus on the problem, you tend to get more worked up and you stop thinking clearly. Uh, when you focus on the solution, understanding what the solution is, then you can actually think clearly and think it through, like what's actually going to be the best course of action to really make things better. And one thing that we do on our farm is we actually focus very, very hard on getting greenhouse gases pulled out of the atmosphere and put back into the soil. So the big problem that everybody talks about is the greenhouse gases that are continued to be brought up through fossil fuels and all sorts of different things. And So that's one thing that we try to do very hard. We strive very hard towards just pulling those greenhouse gases out and, and things that we can do in regenerative agriculture. And there's a lot more things you can do than just with animals. You can do it with all sorts of different gardening and things like that. And it's sad because I get a lot of people that say, oh, well, that's not going to ever take care of anything. You're not, there's not ever going to be enough people that does it. And I'm like, well, with that attitude, you're right. There won't be. Um, but if more people would start to buy from regenerative farms or actually come, you know, come to their farm. And, and that's why we do things like the, this TikTok thing. That's why we've started this. It's just for that. So people can learn. Uh, where to actually buy really good food that can actually help things.